Goodness gracious, Mookie He's Betts. What a day. Doesn't get any better than that. Four for four, three home runs, eight RBIs. Every time he touches one off, it's a no-doubter. The 2-2. Line drive, base hit. Sousa cannot cut it off. It'll go to the wall. Gardner will score. A-Rod's at second. He has an RBI double. And the Yankees have tied the game at one. Tenth inning, 3-3. Dodgers and Rockies. 0-1 oh, to Charlie. Swung on a high fly ball to deep left field. The Dodgers and Yankees. If you believe a home run, and the Dodgers have clinched the division and will celebrate on schedule. Leave it to the Dodgers. Charlie Culver's in a game-winning home run. What a moment to have it. And would you believe his first home run of the year? MLB The Show has baseball on tap from lovely City Field in New York. It's the first game in the month of July between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. It's Mets baseball on the show next. Jacob DeGrom gets the starting nod for the Mets. HR what's the word on him. Well, Matt, he's had good success against left-handed hitters, hitting under 250 against him. When you're having that kind of success against the left-handers, you're going to be in a lot of games. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. One and two, here it comes. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Clear skies this afternoon. 84 degrees is our first pitch temperature. And he goes the other way with it. High and deep down the left field line. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. Conforto will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number one. Time now for a glance at the Phillies batting order in this one. H, what are they going to have to do to force a rubber match in this series? Well, Matt, the first thing that I thought about why they're struggling winning games is they're out near the bottom slugging. When you're not driving the ball and being able to score runs with power, you're going to have a tough time winning games, and that's this club right now. They're going to have to figure out some way to inject some power into this offense and get that slugging percentage up. Striding into the box, Michael Franco. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. The one and two pitch. Oh, he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. Might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. In now, Odubel Herrera. One and two now. Man, I think he's trying to send a message right here. I'm going to challenge you. I like my stuff. I think I'm better than you. I don't care how good a hitter you are. And this guy's a good hitter, by the way. But he came right after him early in the count. And Bruce will make the catch, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Clay Buckholz, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, he's got interesting numbers. And if you look at his strikeouts to walk ratio, it's one to one. So it's not great. It's not terribly bad. It means he throws strikes. But he doesn't have the stuff that's going to totally dominate hitters. He's got to rely a lot on his defense. We'll watch to see how this one unfolds. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And no one will track it down. Another payoff pitch. 
A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Herrera going back on it, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. Granderson takes the turn at third. He wants it all. But no, he'll put on the brakes and head back to third. No, you can't fault the center fielder's efforts there. He tried to track it down, but I don't think he had much of a chance to get there. His teammates will eventually help him out, but by that time, he's safely at third. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. The 1-1 home to Cabrera. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. That's a nice job of standing alive. A two-strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. And another foul ball. I like that. Show him the curveball and then try to sneak that low 90s fastball by him. It's going to look faster coming off those breaking pitches. Here's another 1-2. Hit hard on the ground is short. Blanco scoops it up. Only play will be the first as we'll see our first run score here as this is a 1-0 ball game. Hey, that's good hitting right there. Put the ball in play and let the guy trot home from third to put your team on the board. Good baseball. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Here it comes on one and one. A fastball that just misses inside. Harold, these Phillies as they begin play here today, they were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. Well, Matt, they just didn't play well in, in the opener of this series. I mean, they got blown out. An entertaining game if you like offense, but for them, they didn't play very well. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Curveball that time, not even close. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2 2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Hard hit ball to second. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Well, that's a cutter cutting away from him. He hit that just like it was an old slider or a curveball. Just stayed on it and drove it to the opposite field. Michael Conforto. Standing in now, Michael Conforto lifted in the air out to center field. Herrera on the run. He makes the running play. Two down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. HR, how do they go about trying to start out the month with a win? Matt, this is a scary lineup. They've got power and they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark and they score on balls in the gap when you have a runner at first base. That's what speed, power combination can do. This is a very tough lineup. Here's Neil Walker, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. Come on, Walker. He's set. Here's the three and two. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Here's Lucas Duda now. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Here's Buck Holtz on one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Two two. Here it is. Tapper up the line. That bowls foul, so a good job to fight it off and stay alive.
Trying to keep the score where it is. And the pitch. Three and two now. Well, we got a big pitch coming up now. That's ball three right there. And look at with this situation with two guys already on, you don't want to load the bases. You've got to come after them maybe swing the bat. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Saunders going back. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Number 11 for him on the season. And the Mets have jumped out to a 4-0 lead. Boy, when this guy gets in the groove, he can hit him. And when he hits him, he hits him in bunches. Hit a home run in last night's game. And if they continue to pitch him on the outer part of the plate, look out, this guy's going to do some major damage. Into the box now, Jay Bruce. And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. The pitch takes a knee-high fastball. This could be an interesting night for him. He gives up the extra base hit, and then he makes a location pitch that he needs to make. If he does that consistently, he'll have a good night. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. Ready with another 2-2. Swing and a line drive, but this will be foul. Four runs here in this half inning. Hit hard on the ground to second. Oh, look at the dive to first. What an outstanding play to end the inning. Three thumbs up here in the booth following this gorgeous play at second base. More of the show, Saturday baseball, after this. Now in the box, Tommy Joseph. And they've got some work to do early on. Down 4 nothing already. And this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and that'll hold the count at 0-2. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw the first to be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. In this day and age, with analytics and the shift applied all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that stationed, standard baseball. Here's Michael Saunders now, looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Here's one that misses now to the Philly right fielder. It's two balls and a strike. These Mets, Harold, as they take the field here today, they're on a great run of late as they come in winners of seven of their last nine games. Well, this is an important month. They're playing well in June, and this is where you start to see those teams that are going to contend or the June swoon. Those teams are going to fall off. They look like they're going to continue to just take off. They're playing good ball right now. This is a contending team. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Here's Howie Kendrick. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Kendrick waiting. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to put this one away. Good reactions there and the inning is over. Phillies down in order. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Into the box, Travis Darno. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Called strike two. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate.
And a fastball just a bit high. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. Throws in time, and that's out number one. All right, here's how the Phillies line up defensively brought to you by Majestic. Three. And I'm looking at third base at Michael Franco. Talk about making plays. He can come in, make the bare hand. He dives to his left and right, and a tremendous arm to complete the play. This kid's special. Here it comes on one and one. Ooh, good change up just missed inside. Well he clearly read the scout report. This guy's been sizzling hot and look at how careful he's been pitching him. The 2 1 now to Granderson. Hard on the ground towards short. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. Another hit, another multi hit game. He has been on some kind of hot streak. They better start paying attention to him. Into the box as Drupal Cabrera. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. And the run is in to score from third. Well, Dan, do you agree with the timing of the visit from the pitching coach? You know, that's sort of a tough one since it's only the second inning. But I think it's about knowing your pitcher and how they respond. He's had some struggles here, so I think he's just reminding him to let those go and focus on the next batter. Digging in to try it again. David Wright. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Two and two. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he finds a way to focus on the baseball there as he has it for a big out number two. Now batting. Left fielder. Striding in once Michael. again, Michael Conforto. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Buckholtz sets. Coming home with the 1 1 pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Well, that was a curveball looking right there. I tell you what, that was a nice curve. Just really frozen. Good breaking ball. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Moving under it, Kendrick. And that retires the side. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Mets lead it 5 to nothing. Some fans still trickling into the ballpark as we get you set for the top of inning number three. Into the box now, Andres Blanco. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. All even at two and two. Here it is. And a neck high fastball that time. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. The next three two. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. Now at the plate, Cameron Ruff. He drove in his club's only run a night ago. 
Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Granderson going back to the track. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batting Clay Buckholz. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. One and two now. One and two, here it comes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here he comes again, one, two. Again, he sends it out of play. Two out, nobody on. On the ground, up the middle. Walker has it. He had a close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. Digging in for his second at-bat, Neil Walker. No official at-bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. Now here's the pitch. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. Oh, Matt, look, it's real simple. If you're going to throw the ball down the middle in the big leagues, you're going to get hammered. He's got to put the ball in the corner if he wants to have any chance. Hit to first. Joseph picks it up, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. So one away in the inning, and it's time to check out the standings in the National League East to see where the Phils find themselves entering play today. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Lucas Duda, he hit a big three-run bomb in his first plate appearance. One out, nobody on. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Down the first baseline. Joseph brings it in. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Here's Jay Bruce now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Bases are empty here with two men out. High in the air out to center field. Pereira is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. A good inning of work there from Clay Buckle. Trying to keep his club in it. Down 5 nothing. Ready for another chance? Cesar Hernandez. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. And there to take it in is Granderson for the first out of the inning. Digging in now, Michael Franco comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Swing and a line drive. But foul. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right Not there. Buddy. That's the fourth That's time he struck out. And we're only in the second game of this series. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the 1-1 one one pitch. A fastball right over the outside corner. Well hit the other way and it's into the gap. Running hard he's digging for second. 
And he'll make it in there with a two out double. So they'll try to make something of this fourth inning First after base, all as he's 19. in the second with a two out Bobby. double. And as our graphic will illustrate in terms of team rankings he's currently second best on this Philly ball club in that department. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it. Count is full. Here's the pitch. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down, and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Travis Darno. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Now batting the pitcher. So striding Jacob in, DeGrom. Jacob DeGrom. He successfully laid down a sack bunt in his last plate appearance. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And able to lay off the fastball away here. Two and one now. Here's the two one. Right over the middle, knee high. Swing and a liner. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. He's around first, heading for two. And he will check in with his first extra base hit of the year. It's a double. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality swing. But hey, he muscled it out there. And it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all now for Clay Buckholz. So he'll beat an early retreat here this afternoon as he could never really get into the You're flow of the ball game. Genmar Gomez answers the call from Number the pen here in the fourth as they didn't Genmar get the outing they were Gomez. hoping for from their starter. Stepping in now, Curtis Granderson. Outside, two and one. The two one now to Granderson. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Five runs, six hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. High pop up. Franco is there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The shortstop, number 13, Asdrubal. Here now is Asdrubal Cabrera. One for two on his line so far in the game. Five runs, six hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. David Wright would be next. Hard hit ball to second. Hernandez gloves it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Fair to say? Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. More of the show, Saturday Baseball, after this. So digging in now, Michael Saunders comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Popped up. Wright is there for it. Makes the play one away. Up next for Philadelphia. A look at our line Left score here through the first four, and as we've Kemper. mentioned, just one hit for these guys this afternoon. 
Here's Howie Kendrick. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit to third. There to get it is right. Throw on to first, and Kendrick is gone. Two away now. The batter number four. So striding Blanco. forward now, Andres Blanco. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Two outs, two strikes, and we're in the fifth inning, and he's got one pitch, I think, away from getting through five. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Phillies down in order. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Ready once again, David Wright. He's one for two in the ballgame. Ready with the 1-1 one -one pitch. Aye. Called strike over the outside one part of the plate. Strikes, Here's the one and two delivery. And a swing and a miss that time by Wright as he couldn't come up with it. One away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. In now, Michael Conforto. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Now that is power. You want to challenge me? I'm going to give him a big swing. That was the big swing right there. I loved it. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Herrera on the run. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting. Here's Neil Second Walker. Basement. 0 for 1 with Neil a run scored Walker. thus far. From the windup, the 3-0 pitch. Drilled on the ground to short. Blanco is there. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Mets go down 1-2-3 as they're unable to add to their 5-0 lead. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Cameron Rupp. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. And this is taken in out there by Bruce for the first down. Chris Coughlin will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Chris Coughlin. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Grounded softly to the right. To his right, Duda, and he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now batting. Ready Second for another baseman. chance? Cesar, Cesar Hernandez. Hernandez. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Bruce is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. Michael Marriott will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Michael Marriott. Here's Lucas Duda now. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Takes a good curveball at the knees. One and two. Here it comes. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Here's the pitch on two and two. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And he's retired one away. Up next for the Mets. Striding in once again, Jay Bruce. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. 
Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. That's on the corner to put him behind now one and two good pitch right there from the reliever tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. fastball stays way up that time for ball two he's ready with the two two pitch never tempted to swing at that ball down low it's ball three something has to give here's the payoff pitch swing and a ball yanked down the right field line and this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Okay. He just sports that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued oh, to on or no. not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Digging in once again, Travis Darno comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the belt, the pitch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Runners on first with one down. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Line towards center field. But sadly for him this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Now batting. Enter. Digging in and looking Jacob for more. DeGrom. Jacob DeGrom. It was a two bagger for him in his last at bat. One and one here it comes. Eight. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Yep. One and two. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Mets strand one, but they hold a 5 nothing lead. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top, but first let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Ready for another shot now. Michael Franco, 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base, so we'll see if they can get something going here. Nobody out, runner on first. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. Well, with the leadoff man getting on right there, Matt, they are falling so far behind. They have to capitalize. They have to get some runs to get back in this thing. Oh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. And it's late his afternoon of work. And the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to lead the ball up, but man, he's been good so far. Once again, a 3 2. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. From the belt, the pitch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but this will get fouled, so they'll do it again, three and two. Well, now they wait to work the count. This is a long A-B, but if they wanted to have any shot at him, you need to have these kind of at-bats early in the game. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Hey, that's a base hit right there. Now they got two runners on. This Not may be their best opportunity the to get on the board. They've been shut Johnny out the whole game. Johnson. in the Mets bullpen now it's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw on the ground softly towards second taken by Walker and indeed he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score hey they get the run there but this late in the game with the lead in hand you'll definitely trade an out for a run that doesn't mean a whole lot 
He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Way in front of that fastball. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Little dribbler up the first baseline. But that one rolls foul. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. Now a swing and a miss. Maybe even a foul tip, but it's held onto behind the plate for out number two. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Into the box now. Howie Kendrick swing and a line drive into left field a base hit and the runner from third scores as they try to work their way back into this one man he turned on that fastball right there ripped the line the drive and scored four. the run easy Shortstop, Andres Blanco into the box Andres Blanco hey. And a great location that time on the corner. Three and two now. All right. Three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving. So we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball. Gone into the upper tank. A two run blast to straight away right field home run number five on the year as they pull within one here it's now a five four game. They seem to forget that the game started a while ago but better late than never I guess sometimes one big hit is all it takes to get a team going. We'll see if they can build on it and make a run here. Stepping in now, Cameron Ruff. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The next 3 2. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. So it's four runs on just three base hits. No errors, and no one left on base. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. The Mets lead this one 5 to 4. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Sean Burnett will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Freddie Galvis is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Here's the center fielder Curtis Granderson two for three for him so far including a triple. Sinker is right there for a called strike two. And that one stayed up a little high. Set to deal on two and two. Lifted the other way out to left center. Kendrick on the move. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Digging in to try it again as Drupal Cabrera. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here's the 0 and 2. This is lined to left, and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Well, we've always known this guy was a good hitter. You knew he was going to come out of it eventually. There's another multi-hit game. It's not one hit that gets you out of it, but the multi-hit game. Maybe this is the signs of things to come. In now, David Wright. 
called strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Ready on one and two. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? The second for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. The batter. Left fielder. Ready Michael once again. Conforto. Michael Conforto. He flew out in his last at bat. And there's ball two now. The 2-1 pitch. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. Hard hit towards center. And that'll get down for a base hit. The relay. Throw won't get him. Well, back-to-back -back sliders. Now, the first one was almost like a practice pitch. He saw the spin. The second one, he recognized and got the base hit. Walker. Here's Neil Walker. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Two left for the Mets. They hold on to a 5 4 lead. Hansel Robles has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 47, Ansel Robles. Now batting, Freddie Galvis. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Pitch on the way. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. With that, we'll give you a look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers in the game. And the column to look at is the one on the right side of your screen. Not too many hits to go around at this point in the ballgame. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1-2. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound seven. since he's come out of the Mike pen Dow. to start this inning. Bronco. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Two out, nobody on. A little bouncer. That's a foul ball. That's a and he lays off it to even the count two and two. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local station. Dalyar Inojosa is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Dalyar Inojosa. Here's Lucas Duda now. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls and a strike, here it is. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. 
in there and it's full three and two. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Franco is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. The right fielder number 19. Shane. Now at the plate, Jay Bruce. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Ready with two balls and a strike. And a fastball just a bit up. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. And Bruce will lay off that one. He's aboard. It's ball four. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3-1 count. The ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind an account like that, though. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. The pitcher number 47. Joanna Cespedes will get the call Continue here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 52, And he looks at one in there, one and two. Two out here and a runner at second. Line drive to left. And Kendrick will make the play to retire the side. Mets leave one. They lead it five to four. Jerry Spamilia comes on now from the pen, the hoping to finish this one Number off here in the top of the ninth. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. Here's the one and one pitch. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. The one and two pitch. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. He's set. Here's the two two. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And the pitch on two and one. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Here's the two two. Mm. Three and two. One out, nobody on. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you have to feel right pretty field, confident about the five. way this one's going to end up as a Michael manager. Sanders. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Into the box now, Michael Saunders. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Now this crowd right around 35,000 strong on their feet. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Here's a high pop-up. Cabrera is there for it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four the final score. Jacob DeGrom earns win number seven on the season. Clay Buckholz couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. Jerry Spamilia 
closes the door for the save is 21st of the year. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head on over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Five runs on nine hits. No errors. Left seven. High fly ball, well tagged this time, and Junior going back to the track. The wall makes the leap and makes the catch. Amazing catch by Junior as he takes a home run away from Luis Gonzalez. My, oh my! Perfect time. Here's the 0-2. Swung on. There it goes to deep left.